Good morning, everybody. Welcome to another episode of Bracket Up, where we rank the mundane to the slightly less mundane. Today's episode is going to be the best bush. That's right. 23 of the best bushes. We scoured Wikipedia. We scoured the internet to try and find the best bush. I'm handy dandy Andy Jarek. I'm joined as always by Notice Me Senpai, Andy Mysuck. How are you? <laughs> Oh, we're bringing that back, huh? I'm it's time for a change. <laughs> time for a change. I love it. I'm good. Awesome. Good to hear. And always as well, the Cheese It King, Dave Holloway. How are you? Oh, okay. I'm okay. glad to be the Cheese It King. Yeah. Yeah. Good. Cheese, I'm happy cheese now. Never nip. turns down Cheez Its. Nip. They're available. The cheese Nip Never King. <laughs> yeah. Cheese Nip is the problem. Cheese Nip's a huge problem. But thankfully today, none of those words are bush. <laughs> today it's bush so we have 23 entries which means a shitload of play-in rounds which is what we're all about here on bracket up um i guess we might as well get started our first play-in round pits former president and current painter george w bush against some nice hydrangeas <laughs> <laughs> we have more non-actual bush things than actual bushes but we're starting out with an well, actual bush. Oh, hold on. <laughs> I got that. That confused me. <laughs> no, no, I'm talking about hydrangeas. Okay, good. Good. Can we yeah, pull we up needed... a picture of hydrangeas? Yeah, we needed to get a little creative, or else there'd probably be about seven entries and not 23. <laughs> hydrangeas are super pretty. I think I got my mom some uh, before Mother's Day. Can't go wrong with a good hydrangea. Pulling it up like so. This is, you know, like this. Well, pretty bushes with flowers. Yeah. I, well, think, those are nice. I think my wedding had hydrangeas. Like those were the, the flowers colors. that uh, the bridesmaids held. That makes sense. They're nice and colorful and fluffy. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I'm a Not fan. a war criminal. <laughs> well, you don't know that, <laughs> but we do know the other one is. So. Yeah, I want to vote for the hydrangeas. Now, this is best bush, right? Uh, so we're going with hydrangeas. Yeah, best, best bush. <laughs> one of the few times we're voting on the best of something and not the worst, <laughs> grossest, or ugliest. <laughs> Which I would vote the other way if it was. <laughs> Uh, well, yeah, I'll also vote for hydrangeas. No one's ever described George W. Bush as fuzzy. Probably not. I hope not. All right, hydrangeas move on. That was quick, <laughs> thank goodness. All right, next up, the band, Bush, the rock band with Gavin Rossdale, full of all sorts of 90s hits, against Corey Bush, a current representative from the state of Missouri, and a good Bush. Yeah, a couple of good Bushes. What's Bush the band? I don't think I know a song from them. Oh, yeah, you've heard. Yeah, them. you know Bush. Uh, the band. Had, uh, yeah, that's the one that starts out when they go bell. like breathe in, breathe out. I'm sure you've heard wanna, of them, or some of their songs. Uh, what other uh, Google song? Bush band? Glycerine. What's glycerine? Oh, glycerine. Oh, that's a great song. <laughs> you know, it sounds like Pearl Jam a little bit, which sounds like Creed a little bit. No, that no, I will not. No, no, no. No, I'm just saying the lead singer has that deep kind of 90s no, 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 no. voice. Creed is terrible. I like Bush. Uh, Creed's not that bad. I, Creed is bad. I don't recognize Bush Glycerine. So. You don't? Are you listening to it? Machine it's, Head. Machine Head, super popular. Uh, what else do they do? Now I gotta look it up. You haven't heard of those two. We're in trouble here. <laughs> I don't recognize Machine Head. Shit. What? <laughs> Listen, Cori Bush is awesome. She's good progressive. She's great. She's wonderful. She's great on Twitter. But has she sung Machine Head? Why? No, she might have. Awesome fans. <laughs> don't think so. <laughs> don't 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 discount it. Maybe she has. The only problem with Bush is <laughs> their best years are behind them. I think they're still active, though, aren't they? Yeah, yeah. I, I honestly think they just released a new album like a year ago, like in pandemic time. Well, it's still pandemic time. Yeah, but early no, pandemic time. No, no one's listening to anything new from Bush. 
they did have that one really good song on NHL like 14 or 15, oh. Sound of Winter. Oh, that is a good song. Yeah. Okay, so. Well, yeah. I mean, the rest of their album, you know, it's kind of crap. <laughs> Uh, you know, well, on the mean side, Corey Bush is one of the people that uh, Marjorie Taylor Greene likes to harass. So that should tell you how good Corey Bush actually is. <laughs> That's true. <It's... sighs> <laughs> I don't really have an argument for that one. <laughs> I mean, here I thought Bush the band could have made it into the I don't, second round. Yeah, I mean, listen, I don't recognize Bush the band at all. So Corey Bush. Yeah, I'll, I'll vote for her as well. I'll give a pity vote to Bush the band. They they deserve it. They're good. They're a good band. <laughs> all right, Corey Bush moves on to round two. Next up, we've got the Burning Bush from the Either Bible. From Bible. No, 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 no. I broke them up. Oh, <laughs> the Simpsons okay. stepped out one is down here. All right, so the burning bush from the Bible against Barbara Bush, which was George. I didn't w. realize. I didn't w. realize we had Barbara Bush on here too. Why not? She was great in The Simpsons. Uh, somebody want to tell me more about the burning bush from the Bible? Since I know, uh, uh, I read the Bible. It was a burning bush. I think it spoke to Noah. I forget what it. Not Noah. Um, Moses. Moses. Uh. So we all do our quick Wikipedia search to yeah. Uh, I know there's another re- Gnosticism or something that uh, that uses part of the burning bush story in the Bible to to basically talk shit about the Christian God. Uh, huh. <laughs> uh, listen, the burning bush is memorable, but I can't remember a thing about it. Can't be that memorable. It spoke. <laughs> it's a That's talk- pretty spooky for a bush. <laughs> Talking it's a bush. bush. <laughs> An angel of the Lord is described in appearing in said bush, and God is described as calling out uh, from it to Moses. Look, uh, the way I see it, whoever wins this round is going to get stamped by bush beer. <laughs> so... <laughs> yeah. I don't know. I don't like beer, so. I don't either, so. <laughs> but, yeah, we... but, but Dominic does, and it, it gives bush its. A whole new light to me. We'll get there, though. Yeah, I, yeah this is a tough one. Yeah. I'm, I'm definitely yeah. voting for Bush beer. Oh. In the I didn't realize uh, Moses was named Musa in the Quran. That's cool. That's a cooler name. Musa. <laughs> <laughs> um, I, look, I don't know how to Musa vote on this cool, one. <laughs> Uh, talking burning bush is cool, so I'm gonna I'm gonna go vote talking burning bush. I will too, just because I don't want to vote for anyone in the Bush family. <laughs> <laughs> she was great in The Simpsons. I'll give her a vote. <laughs> <laughs> so was George H. W. Bush, but <laughs> he was an asshole. <laughs> so made it great. <laughs> I guess. All right. Next up, we've got Bush's baked beans, the bean manufacturer. An awesome commercial maker against the bush in Alaska, the wilderness, often titled the bush. I don't know oh. the bush in Alaska, the wilderness, but I can tell you right now, I'm a big fan of some bushes baked beans. Well, so here's another uh, take here. I do not like baked beans. Boo! So, boo to bushes baked wow. beans. Hey, yay to nature. Yay, nature, the bush. Do you like Bush's baked beans commercial and their their minutes of entertainment these days? Well, these are older commercials with the with the talking dog, with the talking dog. Not really. (laughs) Andy, do you remember the dog's name? Was it Bush? It might have been Bush. I I vaguely remember him, but I don't remember a single (laughs) word from them. I just know there was a talking dog. You should have had the talking dog from the. Did he want to steal like the recipe or something? Is that what was going on? I think he just liked Bush's baked beans, as everyone was should. Like, wasn't think... there a secret family recipe? Right, but That's I don't the think only he thing I can maybe. Honest. I just think he okay. talked at the end, and the humans were like, "The dog can talk." <laughs> <laughs> Look, for somebody who talked oh. about the minutes of entertainment these provide, I don't remember much of these commercials. <laughs> I forgot about the talking dog <laughs> until now. 
Yeah, there was a talking dog. There's a golden what retriever. Is, uh, yeah. Ooh. What does the bush in Alaska look like? Does it look nice? I mean, it's just anything that's not connected to like a road network. So that's oh. most of Alaska. <laughs> If you look up Alaska Bush, you get some weird dude. So, <laughs> look, some I, Alaskan Bush people. If I haven't made it clear, my vote is for Bush's baked beans, baby. Mm. I'm going for the Bush. Oh no! <laughs> the toughest decision of Jarek's life. <laughs> yeah, I'll go with the Bush in Alaska. I also don't really like baked beans. <laughs> oh my God! What is Yay. wrong with you people? Do you have like children's palates? Hey, that's baked rude. beans are as bland as it comes, buddy. I don't not, like baked beans. Not when they're baked good. beans and the beans. Baked beans, refried beans, though so they taste bad. Beans like, in general, all beans are good beans. I like beans, but not those beans. You're missing out on refried. Those are fantastic. Agreed. Um, all right, next up, one of our oh god, <laughs> NASCAR drivers, our, our NASCAR population, I'm sure, is excited to hear about Kurt Busch. Against uh, Japanese or the skimmias, which is another flower type, real bush. Pulling up the Japanese skimmias. Uh, anyone want to tell me more about Kurt Bush, the NASCAR driver? I mean, he's a full time NASCAR driver. He's pretty good. He's been around for a long time. I remember I have the PS2 game NASCAR 09. And I would many a time turn my car around and ram smack into him and his brother. <laughs> I hate NASCAR. I hate the concept. I hate I hate how it plays out. It's stupid. Evidently he's kind he's of a nice. dress. Mm, spooky. Yeah, he's he's good. I mean he's won thirty two times. He's you know That's a good but, number to win, I guess. Did, I yeah. mean like it's, it's, so, even... it's such a bad sport. <laughs> NASCAR. Yeah. These these are pretty Sorry. though. Here's a here's a Japanese skimmia. It's yeah. Uh, I don't think I would get a bush of these though. No, it's not as nice as the hydrangeas. Yeah. But it's uh, you know what? It's better than having to sit through three hours of driving. So uh, hey, I'm going for it. <laughs> hey, I'm sure you would like F1 or something. Then you know, I think it might just be the NASCAR part that you don't like about sports driving. F1 is cool. I don't watch it though. <laughs> this guy gets into scuffles with everybody. His Wikipedia page is like ten paragraphs of feuds with rival drivers. Does he, he get a picture wait, of wait, wait, wait. Bush? Uh, does he actually fight the driver? I mean, they all—they always do like those stupid little shoving matches at pit oh, row shit. after the race. Here he is. <laughs> Look at him with his monster, which is his sponsor. I think I used to have a little uh, toy car of his uh, NASCAR car. Is that a punchable that, like, face? Old one? Yeah, he's a punchable face. Go to the go to his Wikipedia. So in uh, the February 2006 issue of GQ magazine, he was selected number three on their list of the top ten most hated athletes. Oh. Behind <laughs> Van Bond some... and Earl Owens. Keep going. That first picture on the right. This one? Yeah, that one. The U.S. Army car or the Sharpie car? Yeah, the U.S. Army car. I'm pretty sure I, I had that U.S. Army car as a kid. Like a little, oh. like, Hot Wheels. I want to see his feuds. Either that or I had a Duracell car and the colors are the same, so... <laughs> Controversies. And it's a big section, oh. baby. Yeah. <clears throat> Oh, he's had a DUI at the top there? Ooh, domestic abuse. <laughs> he seems like quite the piece of shit. <laughs> <laughs> how the fuck how the fuck do you look at that chart up there and make any sense of it? <laughs> um I don't know. Uh I, I'm assuming like so this is Daytona, this is the Indianapolis five hundred, and this is where he placed. And I, I don't know what the series is. I guess that's just whatever. People look at this, be like, "Oh, this other thing's complicated." Meanwhile, understand whatever the fuck this is. Okay, so this is the car he drove. The this is the year. The colors. 
the, the color I think the color is to color coat the, the race because like the Chicago ones are all the same <clears throat> Indianapolis are the same but wait no because I'm trying <laughs> but you're not making it easy here Wikipedia look he's been in a lot of races with different types of cars they go room room real fast that's it <laughs> I hate NASCAR. I'm sticking. And he's a piece of shit, so I'm going to stick with my vote for the Japanese Skibius. Yeah. I'm going to go for the bush. Yeah, the that's actual good. bush. We'll leave Kurt in the past. Can't he's wait. got a brother on this list. Don't you worry. I already looked him up. He's, he's better. <laughs> um, all right. Next up, Jeb Bush. Please he's clap. clap. Uh, against the burning bush from the mobile game Simpsons Tapped Out. What did the mobile game Bush do? Nothing. It was decoration, which is why the meme of please clap might be the first and only time I vote for the Bush family. Mm. Yeah, but he stole an election. We would have had gore had he not. <laughs> Wait, why did I just laugh at that? <laughs> it's true. <laughs> Shit. Gore was supposed to have won. The, bur the burning bush is just a bush on fire and Simpsons tapped out. Yeah, but uh, if you show me a picture bonus. of a burning bush, it increases your bonus by half a percent. Ooh. Oh, I did not know that. See, I haven't played Simpsons oh, tapped out man. in years. <clears throat> yeah, I mean, that's really useful. It doesn't take up, like, it's one by one. So it takes up the minimal amount of room possible. And I kind of like that Moe's, like, eyeglass, like, spying out of one in that, that fourth <laughs> picture. Yeah, that's his uh, spy on Midge job when he spies on Marge. He hides in the bush. Uh -huh. <laughs> spy on Midge. <laughs> I love the Simpsons. Do you get Moses in the game now? Yeah, I've been playing it again. I have a shitload of characters. <laughs> Random ass characters. I think I forgot my login, so I stopped. <laughs> I still I'd... stop by your town and click it for friend points once in a while. <laughs> my town's still impressive. Your town, yeah. Cool. I think it's impressive enough to click on it for friend points. <laughs> hey, and that's how you'd get through train rides every now and then. <laughs> yeah, absolutely. So I'm I'm definitely voting for the burning bush. It's very yeah. important in my life. I mean, I like the burning bush. I'll go with it. I you, you convinced me with its bonus actions. I thought it was just decoration. No, it's it's actually kind of useful. All right. So last play in round would be George H. W. Bush. I'm kind of glad we're getting all the yeah. Bush family members out of the way in the first play in round. Uh, against Reggie Bush, the former NFL player. My God, Reggie Bush was good. He was so good. I don't know anything about uh, Reggie Bush. Yeah, I mean, he had one of the best college football careers of all time. Just an incredibly elusive running back. He didn't quite pan out in the NFL as to what he should have been, but he still had a pretty solid career and was loved by many. I don't see any controversies on his Wikipedia, which right. is always good. You're not right. going to yeah. see a picture of Reggie Bush. I mean, he's fairly, he's probably only like 40 or so. He's not old. I'm pulling him up. Uh, I was on this week. 36, yeah. Here's all the Reggie Bushes. I'm holding a glass football. Hell yeah. Hey, man. Anyone who perfects their craft, I'm a fan. Although it didn't pan out in the, the NFL. <laughs> Not quite, but I mean, he's still he's a Super Bowl champion. Got further than I ever did in my sport of choice. Yeah. So they played in 11 years. That's, that's not, I mean, you, know, you can't say it didn't pan out at that point. Right. It was just that he was kind of projected to be, you know, you think like an all time great pro bowler every year type. And I think he only, he might've made one pro bowl in 11 years. But think of it this way. One pro bowl, super bowl champion, 11 years, millionaire. Yeah. I mean, now I, has a media career. Right. Like, he's, I mean, he's still plenty successful. I'm not saying he's not. <laughs> I'd be happy with that career, especially if he can still walk and talk at 36. Some NFL players can't do that. Good for him. 
man, I'm impressed. Reggie Bush, you get my vote. I don't need to talk about, about George Bush. H.W. Yeah. Dated Kim Kardashian. That's right. George yeah. Bush. Oh, and... <laughs> <laughs> oh wait, George Bush did. I'm oh, no. for him. I'm oh, for George no. H.W. now. <laughs> now I'm sticking with Reggie. That's so oh my God, that was so long ago. I'm guessing this is a sweep for Reggie. Uh yeah. <laughs> Reggie's all around. <laughs> And the Bush family is out. <laughs> I mean, this just to just to say the whole joke of this uh, bracket when we pitched this like, oh, like nine months ago or something was that it would be normal Bushes, and then also just the Bush family. So it turned into no real normal Bushes and the Bush family. <laughs> I'm okay with that. All right, on to some weird Bushes. Uh, Kyle Bush, brother of Kurt Bush, also NASCAR driver, against Hydrangeas are back. Now I'm looking at Kyle Bush, and we saw that giant controversies list with Kurt. Yeah. Kyle has zero controversies list. Kyle donated shares from a race to the American Red Cross to benefit relief efforts from Hurricane Katrina. Like that's a polar opposite. Got a punchable face even more than his brother. <laughs> does have a punchable face but he doesn't seem like a punchable person oh that is a pretty punchable face i mean i'd, I'd punch his face <laughs> it's like what's that you're a good human you're a good listen, human listen. Wham! he's sponsored by snickers and m m so you know two two good uh two good candies there nah, kind two of good boring candies. kind of boring candies two good candies <laughs> He's also an ex WWE twenty four seven champion. He just won it there last you go. last year. No, twenty nineteen. Look at that. What hydrangeas go. were in my wedding. <laughs> hydrangeas were very nice. They they have a didn't, special didn't place. Did you say you my... weren't sure at the start here? <laughs> uh, I'm not a hundred percent. I remember talking about hydrangeas when we went to get flowers, but that was oh, that was that was. <laughs> Four years ago that we got married and flowers oh, were before that. And... I, didn't, I, didn't, I didn't notice one of the next entries. Ooh. <laughs> <laughs> it's going far, I hope. <laughs> I'm going to vote for the real Bush. Uh, I Look, I, I feel bad because Kyle Bush seems like an actually good human being. But I really fucking hate NASCAR. So I'm going with hydrangeas. Well, I'll vote for Kyle Bush. He's a beacon of fresh air. <laughs> All right. Sucks, man. Next matchup. Well, the pubic hair, of course. A pubic bush. bush. <laughs> uh, against sure, Nolan course. Bush now, which Dave said was the founder of Atari. Yeah, Atari and Chuck E. Cheese. Oh, good God. Look, Nolan Bush now. He created Chuck E. Cheese and Atari. And even though he has nothing to do with it now, he is, I will still tie him back to the Chuck E. Cheese Twitch account. And that is Golden Beauty. Which, did you even watch at any point? Uh, yeah, I watched clips. It was I never not watched, entertaining. I didn't watch the actual Twitch. I watched it was, clips it was it. the Chuck E. Cheese puppet pretending that they were playing while someone off screen was playing the game. And he didn't talk or anything. He just nodded his head and like looked at the camera and made puppet faces. That's why it's so good. <laughs> um, he stopped stopped streaming, I guess, in November uh, 2020, and now he's doing children internet TV show. Beautiful, and you know, again, Nolan Bushnell is not part of Chuck E. Cheese anymore, but no. I will tie him back to that. Well, and you know, modern day Atari is also complete trash, and uh, <laughs> they have the speaker know, hat. Someone, yeah, the speaker hat and that stupid console that's coming out that's not that's not even going to be a thing. That stupid console so that dumb. was supposed to have come out years ago. And they fucking, didn't they come out with like Atari coin or something? A fucking cryptocurrency? Atari token. Wait, is yeah. it an actual cryptocurrency? Yeah, Atari token. Yeah. What, what is the speaker hat? Oh, it's a hat <laughs> with um, speakers in it with like you Bluetooth pair your phone to. So that while you're walking around, everyone around you can, you know listen to the, your music coming from these cheap crappy speakers coming out of your hat that sounds like the stupidest thing holy <laughs> shit atari token is taken off a little bit here oh i should have well yeah because it's a meme hey 
I, I, look, I, I, I do the cryptocurrency thing. I have Dogecoin. <laughs> There's nothing wrong with a meme thing if it makes me money. <laughs> It's a, there's problems with cryptocurrency so if it makes me rich i don't care i mean it's destroying I the planet yeah i know i so. know it's a baseball hat but the speakers are under the brim of the hat yeah. so it's blasting into your eyes uh-huh <laughs> sorry yeah it is so dumb oh, shit. It i don't mind it's like three years old i think um what here's, the a, here's atari tokens uh <laughs> value it shot up to 50 cents at one point it's down to 28 now might might be the time to buy atari token oh, buy, buy. buy low sell high baby hey that's how i made money with the dogecoin <laughs> buy low sold high bought again when it dipped Beautiful. it's so good fucking um, stupid <laughs> uh again though no, nolan bushnell nothing to do with that <laughs> Let's talk about pubes. Let's talk about pubes. Yeah. He's got pubes. Hair I mean, down there. Call it what you want. It's hair down there. Jesus Christ. This is so <laughs> stupid. I mean, I don't want to Google the. I'm not Googling pubes. It's not going to be on my search engine. <laughs> I mean, I'll Google it because I'm not streaming my stream screen. <laughs> I ain't Googling it. I, I just mean, want to see what the Google results would be. Look, I'm not streaming my other stream. I, I still have the trophies on here I need to buy for Jarek for being a winner. Uh, it's mostly like fake, like pl just like plants around the groin. That's all they're showing on Google, well, really. <laughs> oh, God! <laughs> Woman's finger has pubic hair Pulling out of it. Oh no! <laughs> what? Could you send me that article in Discord so that I could put it on the on the, the screen share? Oh. oh. Do we not want to see it? I just... No, you don't want to see it. You don't want to see it. <laughs> Look, I thought for sure I was going to vote for pubic hair. It's the stupidest bush on this list. But now we've got. The hat with the speakers. Those aren't related to Nolan Bushnell. <laughs> he founded Atari. He, he founded Chuck E. Cheese. Yeah. I will tie back the Chuck E. Cheese Twitch account. The hat with the speakers. Atari coin, which I may buy now. <laughs> I'm voting for Nolan Bushnell. <laughs> I'm voting I'm vote for, for Nolan. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> No. I, thought, I thought for sure I was going to vote for pubic hair going into this. <laughs> this cowardly. Cowardly, cowardly. <laughs> hey, if I get rich on that Tari token, it ain't going to be cowardly. <laughs> also, a stupid name for a meme coin. Eh, token makes sense because it's like arcade, you know? It's so yeah. stupid. <laughs> Everything Atari's doing is stupid. Yeah. All right. Next up, Corey Bush. She's back against Bushnell, which is an outdoor uh, equipment manufacturer, and they make range finders and um, scopes and stuff like that. And in the disc golf coverage that I watched, people use them to determine how far away the basket is in terms of feet so they can pick the correct disc to use. It's a very useful tool from what I've seen. Okay. That's all I've got. Neat. <clears throat> I don't know if it's better than Cory Bush. Uh, I don't know. Um, what do they make? First, they make... Uh, first Missouri's first black congresswoman. So, hey, it said progressive, so lines up with my political beliefs. Right. Big plus. <laughs> Range finders, binoculars, red dot sites. Eh, nothing here for me. I'm voting for Cory Bush. <laughs> I'll, I'll vote for Cory Bush. Yeah, I'll give a vote to Bush now. The old range finder. Love it. Hey, if you take me out to disc golf, Jarek, maybe I would have voted for Bush now. <laughs> do, do you have a range finder? Oh, fuck no. Do they cost, <laughs> do they cost a lot of money? Are they like expensive? Probably Probably a good one would. Bucks. Oh, that's too much for me to even consider. Buy on a whim. Yeah. 
I don't throw buy it with your out. Atari token. <laughs> no, no, I got. I need to wait for that to increase in value. Uh, all right. So the burning Bible, burning bush from the Bible. <laughs> the burning Bible. <laughs> burning bush from the Bible goes up against bush beer. Uh, easy vote for bush beer for me. I think it's one of the better shit beers around. I don't even like oh. beer. But Bush beer has taken on a legacy because of Dominic and is Bush in every state. <laughs> an apple Bush, like uh, an apple, not like a cider, but like an angry orchard or something type is very good. They have fun cover art that they change their boxes to uh, in various seasons. Better than like Miller or Bud just doing the same shit all the time. I can appreciate that, but uh, there's another case where I just do not like beer at all. Right. So. Not much more I can do. Yeah. <laughs> but, but look, I don't either. But Dominic has transcended Bush beer. <laughs> he's he's made it its own thing. I'm assuming, Jericho, you said Bush, right? Yes. Yeah. Yes, absolutely. Uh, all right. Next up, the uh, Alaskan Bush against evergreen shrubs. Just <laughs> nice old evergreen shrubs. Also in the Simpsons, tapped out. <laughs> they are. <laughs> I've got some evergreen shrubs in my backyard. As I, I think, think do I? I think, sure. I think I have some too. One yeah. of them is. One of them is. Are you pulling up pictures, Andy? Oh, you got you got oh. some evergreen oh. shrubs, baby. Ooh, ooh, I've got these in my backyard. Yeah, one Something of them like is. that. I think these are yeah. the evergreen shrubs. But I got this. And yeah, there's always all those uh, ways you can sculpt them into you know designs and mm -hmm. whatnot. Yeah, I have the round one. It's a pain in the butt uh, whenever my dog would go under it because I did not want to reach under there because they're prickly. I've got I've got this two of these in, in front of my garage. And yeah, they're a pain to sculpt, I will say. I got a real big one back there, maybe like three feet tall. No, that's more than three. That's tall. No, that's like, ooh. Are you looking in your backyard? Eight feet tall. Yeah, that's maybe eight feet tall, seven feet tall. Oh, God. It's very tall, very tall. Probably I mean, if seven. these if these are evergreen bushes, I have three of these in my backyard too. How yeah. tall does a bush have to be become before it becomes a tree? Well, it's not a tree. There's no <laughs> trunk. Oh, I guess there is a trunk under it. I don't know. It's under there. Yeah, mine's just round. So, wow, what a question. When does a bush become a tree? <laughs> Google that. That's an embarrassing question. I think when it's got a visible trunk. Yeah, there's probably a very obvious answer. Oh my god, that, it auto-populated for me. <laughs> of course, everyone's asking. So this definition draws a bold tree. Ah, trees are over 20 feet tall and have trunks more than two inches in diameter. Okay. So there Generally, you though, there's exceptions, it sounds like. Yeah, oh, man. I gotta, I gotta read more up on bushes and trees. <laughs> uh, what is that up against? Uh, the bush in Alaska? I still don't really know what that is. It's just Alaska. Oh. It's just the wild, like, wild country in Alaska that isn't connected to roads or sewers. Boy, that sounds like my greatest nightmare. Okay. <laughs> I'm a great truck. No, no sewage. Where are you shitting? The bush, of course. You shit oh, there and yeah, what are you wiping with? The, the bush leaves? Yeah, just shit on the ground, man. Uh, what are you wiping with? Bush. Gross. That's that's how you get ass problems. <laughs> uh, the, uh, the evergreen shrub in my backyard uh, is where I found my dog chewing on a bird, but I don't think he it, she killed the bird. I don't think she killed the bird. I think a cat killed the bird. And she just found the corpse and decided to chew on it. Oh, no. I'm gonna vote for evergreen shrubs. <laughs> I, I will also vote for them. I get to get this no sewage shit out of here. All right, next up, Japanese skimmies or skimmies are back against the final member of the Bush family. <laughs> Japanese Old skimmies Billy. is what we call them in the underground. <laughs> <laughs> Old Billy Bush is here for his. Five minutes of fame on Bracket Up. <laughs> I see Billy Bush. Uh, all our fans, Roy and Tibbetts, are now going to learn about Billy Bush. Tell me more about Billy Bush. 
Um, well, he was the one who Trump talked about grabbing women by the pussy. Uh, oh. That interview, that Access Hollywood recording. He was then fired from the network. <laughs> Yeah, I mean, like, uh, he also has Billy it, Bush. He has a disgustingly punchable face as well. Is it a thumb? Is he a thumb? He looks like a baby. Uh, I he mean, does. Oh, that was from 2006. Okay. <laughs> no, <laughs> still. I mean, yeah, he's still got a baby face. I'd, I'd punch him square between the eyes. Nephew of President George H.W., cousin of W. and Jeb. Like, he looks nothing oh like Here he we is still with had a bush Trump. Left. And look at, look at this fucking stupid face. Like, right there is a good spot to put your fist. <laughs> got such big cheeks. Plenty but, of oh, yeah, you have, to, you have to punch the nose, not the forehead. No, but you punch right between the eyes, you get the bridge of the nose right there. And you could possibly damage his orbital bone. It's like a win-win right there. It's a common injury, despite <laughs> what some people might say. Uh, do we really need to talk about Billy Bush anymore? <laughs> no. Japanese skimmies. Yeah. Hell yeah. Why not? We're gonna have a we are gonna have an actual bush in the final four because the next matchup is the shrubs against the skimmies. There's if we get another stimulus bill, you should call that your skimmy stimmy. <laughs> <laughs> just wow. buy some skimmies I like that alright uh, next up the burning bush from Simpsons tapped out is back against the bush baby that little cute marsupial looking thing with the big ears bush That's... baby is adorable yeah you didn't... We're I didn't scared know it... before oh. when it was on the list that it might have been something real weird oh. oh I love it I want one <laughs> yeah aren't they great but here's my question. Do they have as much impact in the real world as the burning bush does in Simpsons Tapped Out? They're adorable. So this is, the is one of those animals that you'd be like, oh, I'd like it as a pet, but no, because they're not a pet and you should not take animals like these out of the wildlife. I mean, that's what I just said. Adorable. I want one. <laughs> I adorable. wouldn't, but I want one. But could... <laughs> Oh, it's sorry, Simpsons but it does also kind of remind me of the Quiznos rats. <laughs> <laughs> Hold on, we need a side by side. I'll, I'll pull that up. I'm pretty sure their hands were like that. The Quiznos rats. Oh, oh. <laughs> it's been a while since I've seen them, though. Oh, oh no. Here's the Quiznos. Because <laughs> they toast them. Oh, maybe I less love... less from less of a similarity than I remembered. <laughs> yeah, no. But Mo could hide in the burning bush to st spy on Mitch. <laughs> Quick <laughs> that question: It is something to take lightly. Who was the burning bush? Who was the bush baby on The Masked Singer, Andy? There's a bush. There's a bush baby on The Masked Singer. That's, that was literally one of your image results. <laughs> uh, I don't remember. Uh, John Thomas. Who's Ooh. John Thomas? Oh. I understand now why you don't remember. Yeah, that might be why I don't remember. Who's John Thomas? Um, John Thomas, uh, comedian. I don't remember him at all. I don't remember the fucking Bush baby costume. Hold on. What's the most vague thing? John, the name John Thomas Comedian. What is this? I need to see the images of this. What a strange... I don't remember this even a little. Oh, wait a minute. This might not... I know there's uh, different countries do the mass Singer. That might be why. Oh. Yeah, this is not... English. Or the UK mass masked singer. Yeah, this is the UK mass singer. Oh, I, I was like, never heard of him. <laughs> I was gonna say, how do I not know that? I would remember this abomination of a costume. <laughs> In case you're wondering, here's the costume. <laughs> that looks like a Furby, right? Yeah. No, it no, it looks like a like a, um, a gremlin. 
<laughs> like when they're before they uh get you know water but i say that the mass singer and a little bit of the quiz knows but the, they're not the resemblance isn't that canny no, no, Those, no, no. I was, my memory was wrong but the fact that it's close enough and there was a bush baby on the uk mass singer that looks terrible it's, it's kind of ruining the bush baby a little no it's too cute bush baby Oh, but could you stare on, spy on Midge in a bush, baby? I don't think so. I don't so. want to spy on Midge. That's <laughs> creepy. <laughs> but it's funny in the context of The Simpsons. I want to spy on Midge. Oh, I'm, no. <laughs> I'm voting for The Simpsons, Burning Bush, whatever. Yep, same. <laughs> okay. I can't believe this is in the elite. Are we sponsored by Simpsons Tapped Out? If not, we should try to get a sponsorship here. And, uh, so. and who's still playing Simpsons Tapped Out other than Jarek? Lots of people. I, I got to get back into it now that I know you're still I've doing it. Tons of them. Um, all right, final matchup in round number two, our Sweet 16. Reggie Bush is back against the Bushwhackers, the old WWE tag team that licked the heads of children when they were walking down to the ring. What the fuck is this? Hey, you remember them from a dumbest gimmick wrestler? No. Oh, yes. Oh, <laughs> God. <laughs> you can butch the bushwhackers. <laughs> I love them, except for licking people's heads. But, you know. Oh, they licked so many heads of children. Oh, so, oh, oh, so they belong in JoJo's. <laughs> <laughs> They could have been. They, I want their action figures. <laughs> oh, Lord. It's so stupid. Mm -hmm. Is that just... I don't want to be rude. Is that just a face he makes, or... I think it's just a face. Okay. They would, you know, purposely try and look as goofy and strange as possible. Because he consistently makes this. I don't want to be like, oh. uh, he's been doing it for years. He knows how to perfect it. This is this right here is a golden picture. <laughs> I love every second of it. Uh, what is it up against? Reggie Bush. Reggie Bush is a cool guy, but yeah. is he a bushwhacker cool? <laughs> <laughs> is he as cool as this? <laughs> Uh. No reason for them to be in the Hall of Fame. <laughs> no oh, they're in the Hall of Fame? <laughs> the, oh. Uh, the fake WWE Hall of Fame. It's not, I mean, it's a real thing, but it's not, you know. Remember when yeah. I said you know, I complimented Reggie Bush on perfecting his craft and that being like an admirable thing? He ain't in the Hall of Fame like the Bushwhackers. <laughs> it's true. And he re he retired young. These guys don't look young. They look older than Reggie Bush does now. No, they were probably in their 40s when they were good. <laughs> uh, they still alive? I hope so. I think so. Yeah, they wrestled for almost 40 years. Damn. Them. I'm voting for the Bushwhackers. There's nothing not to love about them. Well, that means they've got to be in their 70s. And that's pretty fucking impressive. The Bushwhackers uh, are very I mean, by fault. They were in family. I really don't know either of these. So. <laughs> they wrestled against Carl Winslow and Steve Urkel in Family Matters. <laughs> <laughs> If that doesn't push them to at least the final four, I don't know <laughs> what will. I'm, I'm going to vote Reggie Bush, and then you can break it. <laughs> I'll vote for the Bushwhackers. I mean, that's not even it. We, that's the, he's a wrestling guy. <laughs> Absolutely. They got that stupid. They would just walk to the ring like this the entire <laughs> way. <laughs> and a banger of a theme song. God, they better fucking win. I'm learning so much on why I love them. God. All right. So to our Elite Eight, the top half, Hydrangeas against Nolan Bushnell, Atari token founder, <laughs> uh, 
speaker hat founder, creator, developer, producer. <laughs> producer of the Chuck E. Cheese Twitch all of them. account. I mean, there would be no Chuck E. Cheese Twitch account. There would be no Atari token without Nolan Bush now. I'm not wrong when I say that. I guess you're not wrong. <laughs> I Trange is cool, though. It's a good name. I Rumor just... has it, the flower at my wedding. <laughs> That's the first thing. <laughs> Rumor <laughs> has it. <laughs> Boy, it's not good when you don't remember four years ago and, you know, your own wedding. <laughs> well, it's it's a big moment, and so you lose a lot of the details like that, you know? There's so much information to absorb during that uh, yeah, but that I, day alone. But I also paid for the flowers well in advance of the wedding. <laughs> sure, sure. But like, it's easy to get lost in all the noise of everything else that happened that day, you know? Yeah. Yeah, that's what we'll say. Not that I have a yeah. poor memory. <laughs> it could be both. I'm just saying. <laughs> Humans no, in general have bad... We haven't looked at a picture of Nolan Bush now. But to me, he just looks like, you know, a normal looking kind of old man. Yeah, just like so, you know. Yeah. No, nothing nothing really uh, yeah. remarkable. We didn't talk. He also, you know, credited with Pong. Yeah, so I, I think, I don't, well, I was trying to figure out the details, but I guess like he made improvements to some other game and then those improvements got incorporated into Pong. I'm not entirely sure. It sounds a little um, debated. It's nice to see a face that actually isn't punchable. Oh. For yeah. so I also would feel bad, you know, punching an old man. Oh. Hold on. I think we're forgetting something with Nolan Bushnell, and I got to look it up real quick. Well, while you're doing that, here's the speaker hat, baby. <laughs> yeah. Nolan Bushnell's legacy right here. It's just so Bushnell sweet. employed Steve Jobs and then later turned down a job offer from Steve Jobs. Oh, yeah. I could not remember if he worked for Apple or not, but it sounds like he oh. was asked to and declined. Well, hydrangeas are the state wildflower of Alabama. I hate Alabama. Ooh, that hurts. That hurts it. Also, <laughs> let's not, you know, he, this should give uh, Nolan Bushnell the win. <laughs> yeah, he Here did play a lot of Fall Guys. Fall guys. Here's Chuck E yeah. playing Fall Guys. Remember, he didn't say a word. <laughs> That's a fucking winner right there. It's the same fucking pose. Well, it's just like the YouTube. You know? They just, yeah, but they even... just photoshopped a stock image that they had and never... Uh... Look at his dumb fucking face in the corner. Oh my god, please, uh, on the on this pop-out that you have here, the bottom rightmost one. <laughs> Wonderful. <laughs> Wonderful. <laughs> <laughs> See, without Hoggers. Bush, without Bushnell, this would never happen. Hoggers. Uh, I'm voting for White Nolan Bushnell. Happy. Nolan Bushnell. Nolan Bushnell. I still Nolan like Bushnell. <laughs> the legend of Chuck E. Cheese lives on. It rolls on to the final four. Uh, the next up, Corey Bush against Bush Beer. Will <sighs> Hops be able to overtake Corey Bush? Corey Bush. Corey it's Bush. Not even about Corey the Hops. Bush. It's about Dominic. <laughs> Bush would not even win a round, in my opinion, if not for Dominic. <laughs> Depends on who else is on the podcast. If Dominic was on the podcast, I'd be his number one. <laughs> There'd be a lot of ties then. <laughs> Um, I'm voting for Corey Bush beer. Why are you putting me in this predicament, Jarek? Corey Bush beer. What? Corey Bush supports Medicare for all, housing for all. You know, she's cool. She's cool Does person. she support Bush for all? <laughs> know, probably not. She'd probably want something better than Bush. <laughs> You know, out. Green New Deal? Out. Oh, no. You know, I'm going to vote for Corey Bush 
because I don't think I could vote against Nolan Bushnell in the next round. <laughs> so whatever one here, to me, will die in the final four. <laughs> Gotcha. Um, okay, what a strategy and <laughs> shit. Uh, <all> right. <laughs> Evergreen shrubs, Japanese skimmias, real actual plants. <laughs> uh, evergreens for me. Yeah, the Japanese skimmias are all right looking. I think they only won because of the matchup. Yeah, I agree. I, I'm not a huge fan of the Japanese skimmia. If that was up against Bush Beer in this round, I'd vote for the Bush Beer as a non-beer drinker. No, it went up against the worst person in the first round, Kurt Bush. <laughs> Boy, that's bold with Jeb, George, and Joe W. <laughs> but you know, you might not be a you know, he's a pretty bad person too. Uh, all right, final round or final. No. Final eight. The Simpsons Burning Bush. The Bushwhackers tag team. I don't want either of these out in the Elite Eight. I know. These these are these are my finals. Right here. <laughs> Silence as I contemplate who I want to rid. I'm tapped out. The Bushwhackers walk in like this, you say, right? Yeah. Yes. They got goofy fucking faces. They're in the Hall of Fame. What's the Burning Bush got? You know. Yeah, okay, but who else is in the WWE Hall of Fame? Drew Carey. <laughs> who knows? Um, Arnold Schwarzenegger. Um, oh, God. I'm trying to think of like the, the dumb celebrities. Uh, lots, lots of them. <laughs> Look, we're now we are now saying that the Bushwhackers have transcended to Drew Carey level status. <laughs> Drew Carey was great in wrestling. <laughs> that's that's big to me. Wait, Drew Carey? And hold on, I need a picture of Drew Carey in wrestling. I'm sure he was like in a suit, right? Uh, like a track suit. Yeah, he's in a track. Oh, suit. okay. He was only on one show, as far as I know, but it was a hell of an appearance. I was expecting him to be in like a, a work suit. Oh, okay. Okay. Yeah, suit, suit. He, he, he's in a suit here, but I think that's something different. Look at this. Look at this. This is a this is a winning thing right here. Did he did he win? Oh God, no. Um, what you're seeing right there, he okay, I can tell this story real quick. He was co-promoting an improv pay-per-view. Um, so he came on to the Royal Rumble in two thousand and one and was promoting his improv pay-per-view which is going to be like next week and they made like a joke about like oh i could win or something like that and so he got into the royal rumble he, he was <laughs> into the royal rumble and he got in there and the next guy in was kane you see the giant you know guy next to him and scared the shit out of, of him drew carey tried to offer him money tried to like hand him like a wad of cash and kane just slapped it away and then uh, by that time, the next guy came out and distracted Kane. So Drew Carey, like you see, just jumped over the top rope and eliminated himself. That's <laughs> <laughs> pretty funny. I love it. Oh, man. Uh, all that, he's a WWE Hall of Famer. A, a that long... has nothing to do with the Bushwhackers. No, other the, Bush, than... the Bushwhackers the Bush... are also in the Hall of Fame, transcending to Bush Drew Carey status. Simpsons tapped out. What are you going to do? Spy on Midge? I mean, I find that hilarious. That's true. But is it Bushwhackers hilarious? Who's William Refrigerator Perry? Uh, he is a Bears player on the 1985 team. He, he's a he's a big guy. Mm-hmm. He's, he called, he's called the refri- he's called the fridge for a reason. He was in a battle royal in WrestleMania too that had a bunch of other football players okay. as well as wrestlers. And for some reason, I don't know why, his tank top when he was wrestling became like wedged in his butt cracks. So it looked like he was wearing a thong. I mean, here's what he looks like. He's just a big guy. Yeah. Uh, according to thesportser.com, top 15 most undeserving WWE Hall of Famers, the Bushwhackers are number two. Oh, yeah. They weren't very good. <laughs> they were memorable, but not very good. Look at that's, that's also an honor. 
to get in just based on who you are. Yeah. I mean, I'm just gonna vote for the bushwhack. So I'll make it. I'll make it Burn official. A bush. Make a split. Oh man. That... Just remember, I... Jarek. Yeah. I know. It, it never leaves my mind. He did, He doesn't need a reminder. <laughs> He's, the well, he's here to remind us. <laughs> I'm in a what have you done for me lately mood. No. I'm all about the Burning Bush. Oh, man. Simpsons tapped out in the final four. <laughs> right. That's Not what point. I expected. All right. Top half. Nolan Bush now. <laughs> Who fucking expected this? Not me. <laughs> against Corey Bush. Both of those were added on literally right before we started recording. Yeah. Well, I realized we were missing Corey Bush mm -hmm. and Bush now. Please, uh, please check that Discord link and tell me if you see anything wrong with these issues. If not, please vote oh, with well. me. Corey Bush, I'm voting. Oh, oh, then you don't need to donate right now. <laughs> you didn't need to close it. I, I did because I'm voting for Nolan Bush now. <laughs> Atari token, baby. Chuck you didn't even let me do my gimmick. I, uh, I really, I voted against Corey Bush last round, but that was for Bush Beard, which is way better than Nolan Bush now. Uh, excuse me? Atari token? <laughs> Atari hat with speakers? Right, the Atari console that hasn't come out after being announced like five years ago that looks like it's just going to be a fucking an Android system. Uh, I'm back on the Cory Bush train. Boo! Hell yeah. Hell yeah. Cory Bush. <laughs> and I, 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 I'm going to push my Nolan Bush agenda to the end of time now. He's my hero. That's fine. And then you, you can vote for whatever wins this one as revenge. Uh, yeah. So it's either an evergreen shrub or a burning bush from The Simpsons tapped out. Mobile. Evergreen shrub. The versatility of evergreen shrubs is really impressive. You're round. Yeah, I think I'm voting for evergreen shrubs. I was going to vote for Simpsons tapped out. Because, <laughs> you know, same logic you used. Uh, well, I voted against it in the last round, <laughs> but the evergreen shrub ain't no bushwhackers. It's <laughs> true. Is that enough to vote for Cori Bush, though? She just knocked out Nolan Bushnell. But sure. now here's the question. Wouldn't it be perfect if an actual Bush won the best Bush? The <laughs> least predictable thing we could have done. <laughs> an actual plant wins the best Bush. <laughs> I kind of want to do it. I do want to do it. In fact, between Cory nope. Bush and Evergreen Shrub, I'm going Evergreen Shrub. Cory Bush, is an uh, Evergreen Shrub is not out there looking for uh, protecting the people that she serves. So I'm going Cory Bush. Uh, Bush. It's nature. Looking out Just, for the common people. Uh, you need plants and in, in life, uh, like bushes, in order to live. Under, uh, under protecting our communities of the page that you uh, were a coward and would not show. As your congresswoman, I will fight tooth and nail to eradicate targeted, hate, hateful discrimination and enact federal policies that protect and uplift all people. She's got improving safety nets. I ain't here to push my political agenda. I'm here to push pushes. Justice. Corey Bush. Evergreen what is her rub policy? Uh, it's to look beautiful, right. improve your curb appeal, right. and... <laughs> curb appeal. <laughs> Curb appeal is a real thing and will increase the value of your home if done properly. So yes, uh, an evergreen asking. shrub is important. Yeah, they're also prickly. If something gets under there and you got to get all it, of you them. just get... Not all of them. Oh, they're prickly. Not Evergreens are prickly, my I man. have an evergreen that isn't prickly. If you reach your hand in there, you'll find that they are prickly. <laughs> <laughs> they're defending themselves as they should. That's nature. Um, I'm I'm voting for evergreen shrubs. Yeah, a bush wins the best bush. These are all bushes in our heart. Wow, evergreen shrubs, the best bush, Cory Bush, <laughs> second place, and then best the, human bush, best human bush. Uh, just behind her is Nolan Bushnell, second best. Mention <laughs> for human bush. <laughs> 
and The Simpsons tapped out Burning Bush also in third. Did anyone uh, have best a favorite? fictional book? <laughs> Bush. Did anyone here have a favorite going into this? I already know. Sorry, Bush. Dave. <laughs> Mine was Bush's baked beans. <laughs> no one here Ooh. liked baked beans but me, I guess. Yeah, sorry. Just not much of a baked beans person. But I, I then gravitated to all kind of the meme ones. So. Right. But at the end, you went with the actual Bush. <laughs> <laughs> kind of a meme answer for breaking yeah. up. I'm pretty proud of this bracket. We just spent an hour and change talking about random. Yeah, this is longer than I was expecting. <laughs> this, this is Which is, we we went off on some tangents. We talked about Drew Carey. Atari yeah, token. Being stolen. <laughs> <sighs> All right. Unless anyone's got anything else, we might as well wrap this bad boy up. You see again, Evergreen Shrubs, the best bush in the world. Everybody get yourself some in your house, your townhome, whatever you got. Throw a couple evergreen shrubs in there. Make your house look better. Get that curb appeal. <laughs> Spoken like somebody who's truly worked in the home improvement industry and can't yeah. even home improvement himself. Absolutely. I have a I live in a condo that's on the third floor. I don't have <laughs> evergreen shrubs. I wish I could. <laughs> oh well. Get a little one for your house. Yeah, maybe I'll just grows on uncontrollably. <laughs> Takes over one of your rooms. Yeah. <laughs> that's the well, that's the evergreen bush room. <laughs> We don't go in there anymore. <laughs> Sounds great. I'm excited. Um, so for the Cheeto Wanter, Dave Holloway, and Notice Me Senpai, Andy Mysuck, I am Handy Dandy, Andy Jarek. We will see you next time on Bracket Up.